to 4B's English lesson video. I'm Kevin, and for today's lesson, we're going to look at a very common question in English. So often, when you're talking with a friend or co-worker, and you're interested in their activity at this moment, we can ask this question. What are you doing? Because this is a common question, and we use it a lot, there are more casual ways of asking this question. So if we ask, what are you doing, it sounds a little formal or a little unnatural. So instead, more casual way of saying this, one is to combine the first two words. So instead of asking, what are, we're going to push those words together and ask, water. Water. You'll notice when we combine those together, the what, which has a hard T sound, the more casual way, the T softens more of a D sound. Water. Water. And instead of a full R, it's an er. So, what are water? So, change that T more like a D, an R to ER. Let's give it a try. Please repeat after me. Water. 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 Three times. Water, water, water. Okay, very good. Then, for the last word, doing, of course, doing ends in that ing, so it has that ing sound. However, many native speakers, when they say words ending in ing, the last ng is not so strong. We say it very softly, almost dropping it a little bit. Depending where you're from, or what area of America, or what area of Britain, Australia, some people totally drop that G sound. So I have some friends from the Western American states who would actually say doing. There's almost no G sound at all. However, from the Eastern states where I'm from, there is a little bit doing. Doing. But notice both ways not so strong. We don't want to say doing. <laughs> we don't want that very strong sound at the end. So let's practice this with a very soft ing. Doing. 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 Okay, very good. Three times. Doing, doing, doing. Okay, great. So now, let's put that beginning and ending together with the U in the middle. So we want to say, what are you doing? What are you doing? Please repeat after me. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you doing? Okay, very good. Now let's try three times, nice and fast. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, great job. Now, this, what are you doing, is a bit casual, but very common. And we can ask this style of question in any situation. However, there's another way of asking this question that's even more casual. So instead of just combining the first two words, the what and are, we're going to combine all three words together. So instead of what are you, whatcha? Whatcha? Whatcha doing? Now, this whatcha, if you look at how it's usually spelled, there is a T before the cha. However, when we say it, there's actually no T sound. Watcha. 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 
Let's give it a try. Please repeat after me. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. And again, three times, nice and fast. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. All right, great. Now let's make it into the sentence. Remember, with our last word, doing very soft ing. What you doing? What you doing? Repeat after me. What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Okay, good. Three times. What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? All right, very nice. Remember, this last way is very, very casual. You don't want to use it in a business situation or formal situations.、Uh, it wouldn't make a good impression. People might think you're a lazy speaker. However, it is quite common casually. So you will hear people on the streets or maybe your friends say this sometimes. So it's good to know it so that when you hear it, you can recognize it and understand. Okay, let's do a final practice. So I've taught you the two ways of asking this question a little more casually. So I'm going to tell you either second or third. If I say second, I want to hear you asking, "What are you doing?" If I ask third, I want to hear you say, "What you doing?" Okay, let's give it a try. Ready and third. Okay, good. What you doing? And second. What are you doing? Very good. And second. What are you doing? Very nice. And last one. Third. What you doing? Okay, very good. Well, thank you very much for watching our video today. Remember, if you'd like to see more English lesson videos, please take a look at our channel. We have a lot of videos there. Thanks very much. We'll see you next time.